you're using Facebook to build your brand right you're you're commenting you're posting you're engaging you're replying to comments you're doing all the good stuff that you're supposed to be Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about something super exciting chatbot AI a self-training a self-learning a trainable chatbot that you can use in your business to get to qualified leads before you ever talk to them and also we're on episode 500 500 of course income secrets we're going to get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. That's right. Imagine that. Imagine a bot, a chat bot that you can, instead of hiring a VA, right, a, a person that you pay every month, you get a chat bot and you have it have conversations with your potential prospects, your potential leads, people that might buy from you, but you have no clue. So you're not, you know, you're not spending your time. You're just basically you're hiring somebody to do the initial conversation with your leads. It'll remember what they said before. It'll ask questions to elaborate I'm going to show you it's really really amazing imagine what you can do with the AI but before we do that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio you're going to want to go check out the video because definitely you're going to want to see what I'm talking about and how to you know the website and everything so uh, go to cis500.jsgagnon.com where uh, like I said I'm going to share my screen and show you all that good stuff so let me just go ahead and start with that right now and let's you know this is this is it right I mean you're on Facebook you're using Facebook to build your brand right you're you're commenting you're posting you're engaging you're replying to comments you're doing all the good stuff that you're supposed to be doing on Facebook to get to grow your audience right because the idea is you want to get people to actually you know see your content you want them to get to know you you want them to like you and then you want them to eventually reach out to you to buy from you that's the whole point of building a business on Facebook using social media to actually grow your audience I mean if I go to my page here I mean you can see that I have you know uh well this is a small page I got 200 likes on this page actually I used to have a page that had 30,000 likes uh but that page got deleted because I anyways I that's a story for another time but basically I use a page now to post and to uh engage with people right so this means that somebody can come to my page I mean this is not what it looks like for you but you're going to see right here message or start or you know something you would click on that and that'll open up the messenger to the page by the way I would love for you to do that go ahead to go to facebook.com Jean-Serge Gagnon or just look for this uh, link but go ahead and tr try the bot out look right now I'm actually going to move my little face from here because the conversation is right there so I actually did this um earlier I mean I set it up then I I started playing around with it asking it questions and this basically what it does right I mean I look at this um are you a real person even I asked it if are you a real person right it, it answered I'm here to provide you with the support is there anything specific you'd like to know and then I said what did you eat for breakfast I said I'm focused on our conversation right now right it's not it doesn't it's it doesn't you know let you rowel it up right so if I go back down here to the last few things that I did here uh I asked I had it it told me that it uh, do you have any hobbies it's asking me if I'm what am I doing to keep busy do I have pets so I'm I just said I'm a computer geek right and look at that he said that's awesome being a computer geek must be quite fascinating do you work in the IT field or is computer technology more of a personal interest do you have also any favorite activities or pastimes? so it's asking me questions right and then I say I'm a DevOps lead in my day job that sounds like a great balance between day job and opportunity selling software can be quite rewarding are you finding it challenging so you know it's it is really quite amazing so okay let's get to how you can get a bot to do this for you right so there's a couple of steps I actually have a uh, I actually have a little uh, document here that I started 
working on letting me move my face out of the way again put it back down here basically this is it right it's it's basically um there's really just a few steps right first you got to set up your account and connect your social media accounts we're going to show you how to do that in the software I'm using obviously the you need this software there might be other solutions out there but I'm going to show you the software that I use that you can also use um, then you create your chat assistant and that involves a few things and then you create a workflow and then after you've done that you're basically going to be able to have people send a message to your Facebook page or Instagram so this supports other chat uh, mechanisms like SMS or emails things like that even WhatsApp well you got to pay extra for that but uh, so I didn't set it up but you know there's other things it can do but just uh, like just as a basic thing you can set up with Instagram and Facebook in one go so the way that works is I don't know if I'll be able to show you here if I go to Instagram I should have done that before I guess make sure I was logged in and everything let me log in to here as you can probably ask me for some <coughs> credentials maybe or some yeah exactly security code let's go to my authenticator app Instagram is right here now it's right so I think that sometimes whenever you do a the login you haven't logged in on your computer for a while it limits certain things but I hopefully we can see everything I wanted to show you so if I go so on my phone actually I can show you on my phone so there's a few things you need to do first first of all your um Instagram account has to be looked hooked into your Facebook page it's got to be like a business Instagram account right so under I don't know if we'll see it here under profile now if you can't find actually I don't want to spend too much time on this because this is just basic stuff but if you can't find how to do it you can certainly google it or you can message me but basically you just have to make your uh Instagram account a business account or uh, or uh, or a uh yeah I think it's called a business account and you got to link it to your Facebook page so uh, the name doesn't matter it doesn't have to match right I mean I just have the same names but if you go to uh, Facebook it'll be linked to this and if you're in the messenger it'll li link to this too right so that's that's one thing so the next thing you got to do is you got to connect well okay let's let's go back to where we were let's just start from the beginning right so get your account set up and connect your social media account so first you'll need an account so the account is uh you just need to go here I can put the link in in here it's basically using a soft uh, a suite called my genius leads and my genius leads um is an affiliate program so obviously I'm going to give you my affiliate link so let me just put a new one in here uh let's do that I should have done that uh, genius leads and it's going to be like that right there it's going to be where's the text the text is here Oh, that's that's good that's not the text I want this is the text I want uh I probably should make it an easier link but for now we'll just do that we'll do a background color background opacity and then let's just make it smaller because that's obviously you can't see the whole thing move it over here So if you need to go and set up an account you go you're going to want to go there and obviously um and after you're there you basically put in your name your email and you enter a password and your phone number and you put this code in and you say join that right so that'll give you that'll get you into the system that's first part and then after you're in the system you got to go into uh purchase products and then you can pick any of these uh these plans right the ones that have AI you need the AI the one with AI so it's at least at 367 uh, but there's also genius pro for GHL with your own GHL account and then otherwise there's other anyway so obviously I have the highest plan but once you've got that then you'll have the access to the uh where is it right here to the go high level uh, dashboard so we would go to genius process so the, so anyways that's your account oh right the other thing you need is if you go to marketing now my account is already kind of set up so I have a video here that I 
uh, had a while ago right here that basically uh, when you go to marketing and you'll see this like this there's no connection so you click on connect Facebook connect Instagram I mean I can play this a little bit um, or we can just fast forward a little bit maybe so when you click on those it'll it'll ask you to connect and it'll ask you for your pages and then your Instagram so you basically do all this connection right so once you've got your connections done right let me I'll move that out of the way once you've got your connections done it's going to look like this so that's your first part you need an account and where's my note back you need an account and you need to connect your social media accounts to that so that's really relatively straightforward the next thing you do is you need to create your chat assistant so that's the second step is creating your chat assistant and basically that means that you go to the my genius leads to your uh, go high level account right here right and then you click on the genius pro assistant down the bottom there you can see that yeah okay genius pro assistant right there and then in here you're going to create your actual bot your chat bot so first thing you do is under training you'll have nothing under dashboard but you'll do go into training data you can create multiple different training data so in and you can use one of them for your bot so you know basically I created uh Sheldon from Big Bang Theory so you can just click on this new training data you can say let's just do it real quick I'm going to call this um who else uh Chandler from friends right I want to create a, a bot that's that behaves and talks like Chandler so I do this and then I go to uh text and the other thing I can do is you go to openai right open openai.com so you go to openai you can create yourself a free account there with for chat right so I'm not logged in I should have probably logged in so I actually have an account and I just want to show you how you would create a bot or the bio for it <laughs> it's really that simple <clears throat> if you go here and we just say yes I'm already logged in I would say um, give me a bio for the character Chandler in the TV show friends include the way he talks and how he behaves okay so we'll just do that something like that we just ask him ask the um ask chat gpt so then then you take this text here so we're just gonna so let's just uh get that all in here so once that's done right you just take the text that chat gpt gave you and we'll get there <coughs> behavior uh, da, 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 da. so th this is like you know really good bio obviously it takes a while for chat gpt to give it to us uh so maybe the let me just pause it and come back okay so now once it's done you know we can scroll up and look at it we can read it we just copy it right here obviously you can do you know more than this but I'm just going to put in here add a source I'm going to paste the text and I'm just going to save that all right so that's going to give me Chandler Bing uh, personality so I can add more I can add another source I can add other things I can add a website I can add a file but let's just say I just do that I click on update information so now if I go back to training data I also have Chandler from friends right so that's the first thing you need to do to create your bot you need to create training data then you create an like in my case I created an active group users so if I go this this is my software I've got the website here I've got the website I've got some text from the website and that's basically what I did for active group users for my software right so you create your training data so training data is kind of like your brain the brain of your bot the stuff that you wanted to so you would add in there like questions and answers that your typical user is going to ask you the kinds of things that you want to tell them about you know where's the website what what is the software do what what do I sell what do, what's it for what are the benefits you know all those things right you put that in there and then after that you create an assistant so I only have one right now but you create a new assistant and you can you can create some you can use some predefined ones but let's just do a, a brand new one and I'm going to call this one 
Chandler. Whoops, Chandler. And again, I'll call him Chandler. Chandler Bing. Whoops. And I'm going to choose a personality. I'm going to make him aloof. And the role is going to be get. Uh, so, the, what do I call it? I call him a a friend let's call him a friend <laughs> and then in here you would put something like the company right active group like in my case active group users or whatever software company you have or my own business site jean serge gagnon is a blog and a personal brand that um, talks about online marketing and of course income secrets helping helping others navigate the online space for digital for digital courses and also uh, also sells a platform platform called click oops platform Click eCourse. Um, my NFT engine. Another, another, another platform called as well as Clever A. Whoops. Clever Copy AI. Clever AI Copy. Clever AI Copy. Anyways, whatever, and uh, active group users. Okay, so anyways, that's just uh, assistant purpose. Get to know the prospect by asking personal questions and becoming becoming relatable asking questions and becoming really okay so let's just say we do just that that's basically the assistant itself uh, you update information here and then we go to goals under goals you could add things like you know introduction in 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 this let's call this discovery so if I find out about the prospect prospects hobbies and day job a job introduce yourself and let them know you are here to help them right and then we can add other goals and and set it up and all that if we were to go look at the belts that are predetermined they all have a whole bunch of goals so training data you choose an option here right I have different ones I'm going to put Chandler from friends right here and then I can just click on test right here to just see how this bot behaves right so hey hey so I'll just say hey right so in the test it will um, use your name as John and things like that but basically what it does is it, it just it just starts the bot basically the bot starts and it it uh, you know will try to help you or it'll do what you told it to do whatever you told it in your goals and your training data it'll it'll do that it'll ask like it'll ask a question about hobbies probably right now I'm not sure but we'll see in a second so let's uh come back and so there you go so it basically answers hey I'm Chandler Bing just your average guy who's always in the mood for a good chat I'm here to lend a hand with whatever you need speaking of which I'm pretty curious to know what you like to do for fun got any cool hobbies oh and what do you do when you're not being awesome you know your day job so that's what it's <laughs> gonna do okay so now this is all fine and dandy but what we need to do now is we need to you know our our third thing we want to do is create we want to create a workflow because we need to connect it with our Facebook page or Instagram account right <coughs> so how do you do that this is the part so now you need to create a deployment for your bot and what that does is it basically tells the system how to connect your client or your prospect to the bot so let's do a new deployment instead of using the one I have and what you do here is you come into the deployment you give it a name I'll just call it Chandler 
and then you uh, choose an assistant which is the assistant you created under assistance and then you have to give it a tag so what this tag does is it connects your uh, lead to the bot you'll see in a second how that works but just right here you ha you have to assign a tag to the deployment which means to the um you know execution of the bot right so we're going to call it chandler chandler one let's just call it chandler one and then you click on add tag so this tag will now exist in the system so now what we want to do is we want to create a workflow so that whenever a message is received by your by the system it will know to tell Chandler to reply right so if I go into automation here and your default in workflows automatically I already have some set up so I'm just gonna turn this one off first let's just turn it off I'm gonna make it a draft now so I just save it and go back to uh to here which will just there's no workflow so this is this is how you connect it to your um Facebook Instagram or uh or Facebook page all right so create a workflow uh we're just going to start from scratch obviously you can look into this but we're just going to create from scratch and what you do here is you just go in here and that add a new trigger so you can you know scroll down here if you want but you can just say um is it message no it's uh reply so customer reply so you're going to want to look for that in the trigger so this is the trigger this is the trigger is when will we do this workflow a workflow is basically a set of things you can do right you can send messages you can add tags to people you can you can change their name you can you do all sorts of things it's basically a set of actions right but before the actions are executed you need to set a trigger so the trigger is when will these actions be done in this case we want a trigger to be a customer replied which is a message so I'm just going to click on that and then you know you could if you left it just like that that would mean anything in the system that is considered a customer reply would trigger this we don't want that we want it to be triggered only when we receive a like let's say a Facebook message right so down here under add filters I'm going to I'm going to put channel and I'm going to select reply channel right there and I'm going to say uh, as you can see down here you can see there's Facebook Messenger Instagram DM live chat WhatsApp all this all these other things email call so we're going to just put uh, Facebook Messenger right there so we put Facebook Messenger and if you want which I highly recommend is I will actually change the trigger name because you'll see why in a second but I'm going to put Facebook PM all right save this and then you can see right here the trigger says FB PM now Facebook PM right the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name here I'm going to call this Facebook message received just that's just the name right oops I can't spell this word ever <clears throat> okay so what happens when the system receives a Facebook message well I'm going to just click on the plus right here I'm going to take an action see these are actions so what do I want to do the only I mean you can do a whole bunch of things but what we want to do here is we just want to trigger the bot we just want to say hey bot reply to this person so then we go in here we say tag and we want to add a contact tag so over here we select a tag we can scroll through them if we want but what we want is Chandler so Chandler one is right there we just click on that and then we just save it obviously again I might I will I like to put this in here Chandler one tag save it and then there we go we got add Chandler one whenever we see a Facebook message so I'm going to publish it and then I'm going to save it so you make sure you publish it if you don't publish it if you don't publish it it'll be draft which means that it won't actually trigger whenever the message comes in right so now we go back to workflows and I can go to well actually let's do it through Facebook here I can come here and I can just actually I won't be able to show you how it starts because I've already sent a message let's show you how how see how like if I go this is the pro see how many pa I have a ton of pages right I have a ton of pages so I'm actually going to change it to this page here <coughs> so how you do that so this is another page I can message this page right so let's not worry about this okay so if I go into uh the, the my genius leads 
hub here, which is basically a go high level uh, account, if you know what that is. So I want to change it so that now if I send a message to this page to ask Jean Serge page, it's going to be the one that replies. So the way this works is if I go into uh, settings <coughs> and I go into integrations, I believe that's right right here so you see what everything is connected now that I have here this one here is the the Facebook this is for the ad account but this one here is for the page selected page is JS Gagnon which is one of my pages I'm going to change the page and uh, I'm going to select the ask Jean Serge page so we'll, you'll see what happens here and this is going to load up the Facebook selection it basically goes and gets all of my pages gives me the list over here and then I just choose the page I want right so let's do this one here connect page so now my page is going to be ask Jean Serge now I don't have an Instagram on this one so I need to connect my Instagram to my Facebook page so in this case I don't have an Instagram so I wouldn't be able to do the Instagram f to show you but I'll do it I'll go back to the uh I'll go back to the um the other page because that's the other page I want anyways but I just wanted to show you so now that I have this connected now if I well let's go back here let's go back to the actual bot I come in here now you'll see that I already have some other conversations going on right I already have some other conversations going on from from before I set this up you see all these these other uh, names here um but now I'm going this name here let's delete this because it's a delete thread yes <clears throat> I'm actually going to delete these other ones too because these are from yesterday and we're probably going to reuse them again <clears throat> okay so these are you know fake accounts whatever I'm actually going to delete this too because it doesn't even have anything in there and this one is a fake thing delete and Kim was somebody who was testing for me so I'm going to delete that too okay so now I don't have any threads nothing's here no logs no conversation so now I'm going to go to Facebook and I'm going to send a message from this page which I think I sent a few I already sent a hi and nothing happened I figured out that it's because the the page has to be selected I'm going to say hey there and normally if you go to it because if this is my page that's kind of what it shows up but I think if you were to go there you would have the start button right so let's just say that and now it's sent right so now if I go back to here you can see now oh look at that there's a there's a person here so now if I just select it I don't know if I'm gonna see anything oh yeah there you go see convert now I see this message here <coughs> and there look at that the bot is replying see right here so if I go to the logs I can actually see that a little bit better it says it's queued starting run message added and is it done already let's go back here oh no it's still it's still working on it and it takes you know a few moments sometimes 30 seconds or so but that's just like you know a normal person you send a text message to somebody and you, you shouldn't expect them to reply right away right in the real world they're not going to reply right away and this is Ricky with review shield bolstering online may I ask if you oversee decisions really I don't even know what this is very interesting because this is not the bot that I wanted to reply so let me see how that happened <coughs> if I go to assistance this is should be Chandler from oh maybe because of the training data but anyways I, let's not worry about that too much right now the point is uh, actually I'm going to change this I'm going to go back to the uh, lead here and I'm going to change it to go back to my main page right so I'm going to go back to here go back into settings and then go to my uh, go to my uh, integrations and I'm going to change it back to my main page right here change my page I'm going to go back to my main page which is the JS Gagnon page right <clears throat> because that's the page that's integrated with my Instagram as well 
and by doing it that way you have you have the ability to have messages from Instagram or from Facebook be replied by the bot right so let's just go back to here uh, Jay is going on right here and it says Instagram is available so connect Facebook and Instagram right so it does that it automatically tells you that both are there <coughs> so now I have this account connected to the I mean the bot connected to the to this page instead right so now if I go back to here and if I was to you know if I was to send another message here and I say who are you obviously nothing's gonna happen because that message well at least I don't think it will unless it keeps the, the unless it keeps it but I don't think so if I if I do here and I reply with js I can do that that's another thing you do too you can mainly assign a, a, a bot to reply so in theory this should be js that is going to reply but it doesn't really matter because now <coughs> that page is no longer connected right so now what I want to do is I want to go to Instagram and I want to log in as my other I have an uh, I have a nft account so how do I change my login here I'm not even sure on the website how to how to change the login how do you change the login oh switch right here switch to unicorniax I don't know if it'll ask me for a, so authentication or something here but it says something underneath here something went wrong okay reactivated it says okay I'm in the Yukon unicorniac so now if I go to my page uh where's the search oh there's a search if I just go to my page here and I search for my own account uh, it's actually it was actually there already <coughs> actually before we do that let's change okay I got it here let's change the um the the workflow so right now if I go back to automation under workflow you'll notice that I have one that I disabled right I have a few different ones I did but my pm receiver right here is the one I want to use I'm going to turn this one off because I don't want to necessarily use that well I guess that's a Chandler bot which somehow is re is not working right so I'm just going to turn this off and then and then I will go to the one I used before which is this one and this one is basically depending on whether it's an IG well I put WhatsApp but that the, that's not integrated you got to pay 25 bucks a month or something but it basically uses a JS bot one tag right here I'm going to turn this on I'm going to save that now if I go back to my IG right here and I send a message to this this person which is integrated into there you can see right here I already had messages from before so I'm going to say hi it'll start from scratch because the I deleted the conversation <clears throat> but normally what happens it'll actually learn as you go it'll learn you know like see how I said right here hi hi there how's your day going can I assist you today what can you help me with and who to provide support and need scheduling we'd love to learn about your business can you get so cool I sell software too great to hear what kind of software do you specialize in selling and then I didn't I didn't continue right but now uh it's starting from scratch it's going to do this so if I go back to workflows so again like I said right it's set up your bot well connect your account set up your bot and then create the workflow with the tags and that's all you need to do that's really I mean obviously you're going to want to improve the training of your bot you're going to want to tell them about your software more the kinds of questions people ask and what the answers are all those kinds of things that's part of uh, training it but once it's trained it's going to be just like you look see I have a message right here hello there I'm JS and it's a pleasure to meet you how can I help you today also I'm curious about you do you have any hobbies or perhaps a favorite pet and that's basically and if I go back to Instagram right you can see right here that's exactly what I got in my Instagram I say we have a cat called diamond she is a ragdoll I'm look 
thing too. I'm not really, not really looking for anything today. And then see what happens, right? So basically, this is like you know, out of the blue, I get a message from obviously the um, integration is um can be uh, will be improved over time but you know i'm just gonna have a conversation with this bot that's it that's how you integrate with instagram and how you integrate with facebook if i go back to facebook here and i go to my actual page my js gagnon page and i don't want to switch i just want to be message here I'm going to say hi there and again that's going to be another message and if I go back to my right here you're going to see that there's a new a new message right here right again this is me right here my name is Jean Serge so oh this is the uh oh that's not right that was the there's the one I just sent right now All right so this is the one that I when I was connected to my other page right <coughs> but this one here is the Instagram one uh you can kind of tell that this is from an Instagram right here but with this little uh you know Instagram logo and then this one here you can see it's Facebook it's got the Facebook logo right the other thing you can do too you can come into contacts up here oh not calendars contacts and you see the contacts that were gen that were created in the system you can even like the bot can ask people for their emails and it'll actually add it right there right and um even their phone number if you were to ask them their phone number right I mean it's insane like here let's me just kind of show you how that would work if I go back down to my genius pro assistant here and I come to my bot and let's just da -da -da -da, let's see over here if I go back to my assistants and I open up my js here I'm going to say oops under goals I'm going to say in here I also want to uh I guess I only have oh there's these are goals I copied from another another bot but let me just say um over here also ask for their email and phone number when it seems appropriate all right so I'm just going to save that like this and then I'm going to go back to my I got my Facebook message right here look it's great to meet you I'm JS and I'm here to help you tell me what do you enjoy in your free time I love to go out for walks in a, a little trail trail I made in my backyard okay and then let's go to my Instagram one and diamond sounds like a beautiful cat ragdolls are such look look at that like <laughs> that is insane it's actually being completely relatable to the I mean a ragdoll and they have furry friend on your side do you also enjoy any activities or have day job to keep you oh yeah yeah in my day job I'm a DevOps I work with computers <coughs> and then let's see what the Facebook one is saying nothing yet but if I go back to my genius leads you can see if I go back to the dashboard you can see that um oh this is the one let's just delete this one <coughs> but this one here is assistant is replying right now I love to go out for, uh, that's what I said right <coughs> and it's it's actually oh look at that it said that sounds I mean if I go back here it says that sounds peaceful and refreshing having your own trail to enjoy nature is wonderful <laughs> like I mean eh, really seriously do you also have a day job or perhaps any pets yeah I, I have a day job a day job I want to quit uh, and but like I said this is like let's just put this back right here that's awesome DevOps role is definitely challenging but it can be rewarding and then tax space how do you balance about work and personal life they have children yes I have two daughters two daughters it's not easy not easy to balance life with work and a side and a side hustle hustle too hustle 
so you know that's basically you know this is a conversation and you're having with somebody else uh you're going to be able to have these kinds of things and the other thing too that's really cool is that as you can see all this is stored here right if I go back to my conversations right up here you're going to see they're all there these are the conversations right I mean I had this thing which is a spam or whatever but <laughs> this is the one from unicorniacs which is I have two daughters it's all right here so if I you know as a like after the AI's gone through the process right of getting to know them a little bit I can come in here and I can actually see everything that was transpired and I can relate to them and everything as well right and I, even then if the bot replies to them after a while uh all right so this is what happens is like it's not there anymore that's because it's not unread anymore if I click on recents it's all there right here right they're all here all the old conversations so um you can do all sorts of things but for now like if I go back to this unicorn X one you can see that it's you're juggling this is what the bot said right if I go back to here I can see that's what the bot said it sounds like you're juggling a lot or quite a lot as you can see I have a whole bunch of junk messages in Instagram because I'm not really paying attention to it but this will allow anybody who sends me a message because this one is this the one no there's somebody here oh this is not yeah this is my not my real account this my not my not my normal account so I these are all messages sent to my you know an nft account but yeah so that's that's how you set it up it's really that simple you need to set up a workflow with a tag that matches the bots tag and it's really all you got to do like I said right the workflow under workflow um I clicked the wrong thing here under workflows you have a workflow and all it does is it it sets the tag whenever it receives a message because I have IG and, and uh, Facebook and Instagram it just adds this tag and that tag has to match the bot that you're using to reply to people that's that's it that's so cruel so crazy and I forgot I kept this link on the thing almost the whole time of the video I didn't mean to but uh, but yeah so let's we'll see you in the, and if you have any questions again this episode 500 if you have any questions you'll already reach out but hopefully this helped you a little bit this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time